Shalom, Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, that's given all praise to the Most High. In the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful legs scattered abroad. And real quick, I want to, uh, I'll knock this video out real quick. I was actually about to do another video, but just came across the screen and the scripture started coming to my mind. So the first scripture I want to grab is, um, and I went into this earlier, but it's just something that you got to understand, you know, about the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And, I, and um, I'll, I'll play the video, but it says, can anyone explain to me why this canine bit his own? All right. And you see the, the cop. Where my shoe at? So there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it right there. And I don't know why Eve out there, you know, they got on bathing suits, but you know, it damn near looked like, you know, uh, uh um underwear, you know. I guess it was at the beach or whatever. But you see this Edomite right here who got dogs out, you know, who I don't you know, who knows what was going on. Not saying those jakes don't deserve whatever they're getting. Yeah, so that's lucky. No, that was just a little too much. But um, um, you see this, you know, this Edomite cop and his perpetual hatred for Jake. You know, he has a perpetual hatred for Jake. It's all over his face, and he grabbed that Jake for nothing, man. Really, the Jake, you know, didn't do nothing, and he just grabbed him, you know, slammed him, and then when he slammed him, the dog started biting him. The own his own canine dog started biting him, which they, they train those dogs to bite niggas, you know. But the Lord put the spirit on that dog to pretty much, you know, uh, ch uh, chomp on him, you know, and that, that that's what Esau does too. They use them dogs, they use they use them when it was in slavery. When you used to escape from from the plantation, they would sick the dogs on you, man. Watch the movie Django. It shows you how um he had a uh, how they had had that dogs. I forgot the character's name out that was that they had tear apart, but you know them raggedy Edomites had 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 sick the dogs on that Jake, man. You know, so that's what these cops do as well. But this time, the, the dog bit him. And I've seen many videos like this where the, the dog will actually turn on the owner and bite the owner. You know, so it says, um, and if you was to, to even hit hit this dog, uh, you know, pretty much they treat the dog as if it's a, 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 actual, a actual physical person, you know, an actual cop. And, you know, so hey, he couldn't even do nothing back to that dog, but that dog... You know, started chomping on him. So this is uh, Ecclesiastes or Sirach chapter 20, chapter 39, verse 28. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their theory lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So the, the Lord put a spirit of vengeance on this dog. You know, the owner's own dog, the police dog, man. And it made him, you know, chomp on him. You know, turn the tables real quick. And then he was, the, and he started getting bit, you know. As he thought to do, as what he thought to do unto the Israelite was actually done unto him, you know. And then that shows you that, hey, amen, the Lord is, is just, okay. And all the, everything that these devils try to do to us is going to ultimately fall back on them. It says, uh, verse 29, fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. It says teeth of wild beast, you know, that, you know that's a, a, de a, a domesticated animal, but, um, you know, it has teeth, you know. And those teeth started biting on the cop, you know, and, and you see videos of these, you know, they's putting the dogs on people and them dogs, they'll lock on you, man. And, and, and they ain't going to stop, you know, it says teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents um, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Right. So we come into a time where, you know, this is going to happen to, to a lot of you Jakes, but also you eat mice too. Right after Jacob's trouble comes Esau's trouble. Okay. Because the Lord will get two thirds of the wicked of our people, and then, and then He's gonna jump on all you Edomites. It says, "They shall rejoice in His commandment. Uh, they shall rejoice in His commandment, and they shall not, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is, when their time is come. They shall not transgress His word." Right. So 
Yeah, that's all the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, that that what you saw right there was that animal doing that, you know, to this officer. And it was sanctioned by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let me grab that. It was sanctioned by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, that cop was def was there was definitely having a power trip. You know, but this is Esau's kingdom, so he has that power, but at the same time, the most high is the one who gave him that power. So he so he may try to be, you know get beside himself and the Lord have judgment come come upon him. Which is what they did ultimately throughout our whole slavery, but now it's gonna come upon them. Deuteronomy chapter thirty two, verse thirty nine. See now that I and even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. So it was the most high that wounded that cop when that dog bit him. It says, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. And no matter how much control he thought he had of that dog, no matter how, how well trained the dog was, the Lord put the spirit on that dog, a spirit of vengeance to, to, to you know, bite into his flesh. All right. It says, for I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. All right. That's the point. That's the point. Um, let me go here. Because the Lord creates, you know, good and evil. Let's grab that. Light and darkness. It says. That's not it. That's not it. It says Isaiah chapter 45 or 7. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh by Hashem, Shai, do all these things. So that's, that's in the power of the Most High to do all these things. And, and Edo Esau is in power right now. You know, the Lord only gave him so so far he can go. Let me grab that. A bounds he cannot pass. You know, you know how you how you play a, a, a particular game or whatever, and it has an out of bounds. If you go out of bounds and make a shot, you know, whatever, it doesn't count. You know? So that's so that's what um that's what's happening with Esau right now. He's he, he's starting to reach that bounds. That he cannot pass. This is Job chapter 20, chapter 14, verse 5. It says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So there you go. You know, and then that goes all the way down to his kingdom. You know, his kingdom is only going to go so far, but also that power, man. You know, he can't do more than the, 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 the Lord will allow him to do. Even our Lord told Pontius Pilate, you can only do what my, my, my father has given you power to do. Okay. Roughly paraphrasing. Uh, let me grab this. Because they put these red ass demons in, in, in these positions over Jake and, and they're not, you know, ruling justly. And Jake is wicked, too. But, you know, you understand that the Lord has 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 has, has put the devil over us. It says on um, Ezekiel chapter 35, verse one. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus saith Yahweh, the Lord of Yahweh, like the Lord Yahweh, Shai, behold, O Mount Seir, which is symbolic for you Edomites. Okay, that, hey, that's where you come from. It says, I am against thee. I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. The Lord is going to destroy you. He's, he's, he, he's, going, he's going to make you desolate. You ain't going to be walking around in this proud spirit with your. You know, uh, beat a nigga steak and your goddamn, you know, uh, gun on 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 your hip, man. You know, and it, and if you is, it ain't gonna be able to do nothing against us, anyways. That's why they gotta send five cops, you know, five cop cars with two cops in each, for 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 for, for um for uh, Jake. Look, like they got cop cars right there lined up um in in, in the back by by with cops by the walk up. It says um. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh. Right. So, hey, all these cities in America, uh, you know, that they boast and proud in, that these devils are, you know, you know, lurking through and and, and, and ruling over, reigning over. You, Jake, said, the Lord said, gonna make it all desolate. It says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, which perpetual means never ending. Okay, so this man has never stopped hating you. Okay, he has never stopped, you know, seeing you as nothing but a nigga. All right? Thou, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in a time that their iniquity had an end. And Jake is, you know, our punishment is just about up and these devils just going harder, you know. So guess what? You got to pee on the answer for all that, man. It says, therefore, as I have done, as, as I live, saith the Lord, Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. 
said, thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee, right? Because they, 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 they after Jake blood. They want to see Jake blood spill. They want to see blood so bad that now, now guess what? Now you're going to see your blood. It says, thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off from, hit, from it him that passeth out and him that returneth and will fill his and will fill his mountains with his slain men and thy and, and thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers shall they fall they that that are slain with the sword right so there you go man you know a lot a lot of you eat my going to die let me go let me go wrap this if I can find this Bear with me one second. I'm looking for a particular scripture. Mm. Here we go. Beautiful. Here we go. Here we go. Second Ezra chapter 15. Verse 56, it says, like, as thou hast done unto my chosen, saith the Lord, even so shall the Most High do unto thee, and shall deliver thee into mischief. Thy children shall die of hunger, and thou shalt fall through the sword. Thy city shall be broken down, and all thine shall perish with the sword in the field. They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger, and eat their own flesh, and drink their own blood, for very hunger of bread, and, and thirst of water. Right. So as you thought to do unto us, it's going to be done unto you, man. Okay? Let's grab that and open dial. And, then, and these devils got, had, had, got wicked thoughts to do to Jake. Well, all that's going to come back upon you. All right? It says, um, uh, Obadiah chapter 1, verse 10, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Right? And you, you go back to Jacob and Esau. What it what 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 was in Esau's heart? Uh concerning concerning his brother Jacob. Genesis chapter 27, verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob. So these Edomites hate you, Jakes, man. And Jake want to play with him and, and run around and prance around him and shit and, 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 and bikini clothes. Listen, man, this man hates you, okay? It says, hated Jacob because of the blessing where wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his in his heart, in his mind, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob, right? So this man can't wait. He can't wait to slay Jacob, man. That's his whole heart's desire is to slay and destroy Jacob. Okay, so they get this power, you know, in this in this society and, and, and their whole heart's desire is, is to slay Jake. But now the Lord is flipping that script on them. I'm in off with that right there. So the curses are flipping. The curses aren't, aren't so aren't so heavily laid upon us anymore, which we're still under the curses. But you see him starting to be lifted. Jake not not doing too bad in this society. But Esau, you know, you got Esau they're shaking the cup. Spare change. You know, you got you, you got these, these Edomites getting their ass beat and, you know, persecuted and chased out of the, the, of the cities and shit. You know, look at that Montgomery bra. OK, it was one time when they used to make a make a laughing stock out of us. But now they're being made a last laughing stock out of. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7. And the Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Right. So these people persecuted us and he persecuted them with that dog. But the Lord put those, that, that curse that he saw to put upon them on him. All right. The scripture says dogs to tear. All right. So, hey, it's only a matter of time, man. OK, it, it won't be long now. What I've been saying, I'm going to say Shalom Kwame Sharala about the ball. Pray to the one more time and close out. Shut up, one. Where my shoe at? Oh, no, oh, no, bro. Dog turned on him. Yeah, yeah, he had to check the dog. He had to check the dog, man. So there you go. Shalom, Kwame Sharala, a Bob Ball, DTA. Soon.